In previous class, we have seen what is deep learning, difference between artificial intelligence, machine learning and deep learning. And we have seen what is exact difference between traditional machine learning and deep learning. Today, let us see basic concepts of neural networks. Deep learning architecture such as RNNs, CNN and deep belief networks are applied to fields such as computer vision, speech recognition, natural language processing, machine translation, bioinformatics, drug design and medical image analysis. The depth of computation that enable the deep learning models to extract the complex patterns in real world data. Deep learning models are based on artificial neural networks. ANNs are inspired by structure and function of human brain. Biological brains are capable of solving difficult problems. Neurons or nerve cells are the fundamental units of the human brain. Neurons responsible for receiving sensory input from the external world for sending commands to muscles. Typical biological neuron consists of cell body also called as soma, dendrites, axon and synapses. Neurons receives information from other neurons via dendrites. These are called dendrites. They act like input points. This part soma aggregates the input from dendrites. If aggregated information is strong enough then signal sent to the axon. Axon transfers signal to the dendrites of the other neurons. Axon terminals or we can also call it as synapses connects one neuron to another neuron. So if you have another neuron, this axon terminals will be connected to other neurons. Biological brains are capable of solving difficult problems, but each neuron is only responsible for solving very small portion of the problem. Similarly, neural network is made up of artificial neurons. We usually call them as units. They work together to solve the problem. Each neuron individually performs only simple computation. Let's see fundamental component of neural network. The single neuron, neuron with one input look like this. Here the input is x. Its connection to the neuron has a weight which is w. Whenever value flows through a connection that will be multiplied with this connection weights. So the input x will be multiplied with this connection weight w. The result will reach the neuron. Neural network learns by modifying its weights. B is a special kind of weight. We call this as bias. Bias will not be associated with any input. Usually one will be given as input to the bias. This bias modifies the output of neuron independently of this input. Here y is the output value of neuron. To compute this output, neuron sums up all the values comes from the connections. So neuron output y will be this x value will be multiplied with its connection y. So wx plus 1 will be multiplied with b it would be b so y will be wx plus b this bias will shift the output function to left or right or up and down from this we can say that artificial neuron is a simple mathematical function the connections of biological neurons are modeled as weights here the positive weight reflects the excitatory connection if you have positive weight goes plus one this is called as excitatory connection means this input has more input Suppose if you have negative weight, that kind of connections are all inhibitory connections. Then for this input, there will be less importance. All the inputs are modified and some. This is referred to as linear combination. To understand the working of artificial neuron, let us create model with single neuron. Usually single neuron will not be a model. It will be part of large neural network. With single neuron, we can build linear models. Linear model cannot solve complex problems. This is our model with single neuron. If we express this model as a mathematical function, it will be y equal to wx plus b. Here we have w on here is b. If we try in this model with data set containing person heights as input and weights as output, heights are in centimeters and weights are in kilograms. Here training means neural
neuron will adjust its weight and bias values for given set of input values and output values. Suppose if we try in our linear model on this data set, after training the bias value is 2 and weight is 0.35. Then we can use this model to estimate the weight of a post with 160 centimeters like this. This 160 will be multiplied with its connection weight 0.35. This bias value will be multiplied with 1. So 160 into 0.3 plus 2 the result will be 58. Means if person is 160 centimeters his expected weight will be 58 kilograms that is predicted by our linear model. Suppose if data set has one more input feature sender say male and female we can add one more input connection to the neuron here. This is for height and this is for gender. To find the output we would multiply each of its input values with its connection weights. Uh, let us say for this connection, connection weight is W0 and for this connection uh, weight is W1. Then model equation will be X0 W0 plus X1 into W1 plus this P. Suppose if we have three inputs height, gender and country also based on height, gender and country weight of person might be different. Then we can add one more input country here. We can add one input connection to the neuron for each additional feature. Then resultant model will look like this. Here we have three inputs. So y equal to w0 x0 plus w1 x1 plus w2 x2 plus bias value. Let us see simple linear regression with single neuron. We have already seen this example in our data analytics class. There we have used stats models to build this linear regression. Here we are going to use neural networks. Here we want to predict the sales based on TV marketing budget. Let us build linear regression model with linear unit. Here linear unit means single neuron without any nonlinear activation function. This kind of linear units can capture only linear relationship among data. Here we are using advertising data set. After reading the data set, you can see first five rows. Here we have four columns, three independent variables, TV budget, radio budget and newspaper budget and dependent variable sales. Here we are using simple linear regression. So I am considering only TV advertisement budget column. So independent variable X will be this first column. Dependent variable Y will be this last column. Here this X and Y are Panda series. So convert into two dimensional array. Machine learning models will accept arrays as input. So reshape that. Here I am not using any normalization. Always it is better to normalize data. We can create model with Kerastat sequential which will create the neural network by stacking one layer on another layer. Here we are using dense layer. Dense layer means it is fully connected layer meaning that all neurons in one layer connected to all other neurons in the next layer. Suppose if you have neural network with two inputs and two hidden layers, each of these hidden layers has three neurons. All neurons in one layer will be connected to all neurons in another layer like this. Here also this will be connected to other neurons like that. Since we are using single neuron, so units will be 1 and input is also single variable, so input shape is also 1. This is the model summary. Compile the model with Adam optimizer with learning rate 0.05. Here we are using simple last function mean absolute error. You will see this last functions and optimizers in next classes. Then train the model with input and output. Here I am not using any training and testing sets. Here I am training the model with entire data. I repeat it for 200 equations. Then model will be trained on this given data set. Now we can use our model to predict the data. Let us predict the y values using this trained model. Again here I am giving the all the data within the independent variable x. For this x values model will predict some y values. Let us call that as y predicted. If we plot the original data and predicted data, here these blue dots are the original data and this 
straight line which is the predicted data see here predicted data on the straight line but see here our data is little bit non-linear linear units can capture only linear relationship among data suppose if original data is like this curve this relationship cannot be modeled by using the linear units linear units can capture only linear relationships don't bother about the code here let's see what type of relationships can be modeled using linear units in next class we will see how hidden layers will be useful to capture more complex patterns in the data